welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Now the Phoenix Simulations Airbus A320 is available for the simulator. Uh, so in this video, I will tell you how to configure the Thrustmaster TCA throttle for this plane. It's really easy and simple. Uh, if you have done it for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, yeah, there are a few things uh, different. Uh, so that's why you will just uh, know about these and plus if you are new to this simulator, new to this plane and new to this um, throttle then also uh, you will uh, um, uh, get to configure uh, the controller after this video. So first of all let's go to the controls and uh, just do some configuration over there. In the controls you can see the A320 quadrant throttle is available. Just click this and over here you can filter let's say you can filter the assigned ones so all the assigned controls are coming over here now over here you will see throttle one x is 0 to 100 it's coming you have to delete it uh, for throttle one and throttle two just don't keep it over here 0 to 100 percent so let me just uh, try to press delete i don't know it's not working for me right now so i have to go to this settings and over here i have to just like uncheck it and then you can it's again a very tricky thing the moment you press backspace the view changes <laughs> it's very funny okay so it's um, phoenix a320 you can make this profile and just press ok and uh, then go back and again for the throttle to just uh, go back and that's it so there's nothing over here now again just uh, get the filters to none just see if you have anything assigned to throttle <laughs> let me just press backspace again and just go here okay <laughs> so um, you get this uh, uh, throttle one axis and throttle two axis as you can see it over here, throttle one axis and throttle two axis. So go to throttle one axis and uh, just select this option. And over here, you have to actually scroll through all the controls and look for joystick LXS X. Just select this and make sure it's not inverted. Um, if you have configured it for a simulator 2020 and then you invert it over there, but over here, don't invert. And then uh, go to tweak action curve. Just go over here and make sure it's a straight line sensitivity uh, positive negative is zero neutral is zero dead zone is zero extremity dead zone is also zero so just go back and make sure it's selected joystick lxs x is selected just go back and um, for the throttle two axes just go over here and again select uh, joystick lxs y again make sure inverted uh, axis is not selected and again the curve is straight there's no curve it's straight line <laughs> the curve cannot be straight <laughs> good one okay and then sensitivity uh, positive and negative is set to zero neutral zero dead zone zero and extremity dead zone is also zero so go back and um, that's it so if i just uh, go back and uh, close it then you will see the throttle is working okay now you have to actually configure because if i'm configuring the reverse thrust on my throttle it's not working as you can see it will not work and uh, plus uh, the physical throttle is in the idle position but still you can see there's some power uh, so how do you activate uh, the reverse thrust for the beginners just on your physical um, controller pull up these levers and just uh, pull this throttle all the way back like this and then you have the reverse thrust okay so that's how you do it so let's uh, bring these thrusts over here and now whatever the settings i will do i will do it for uh the physical uh, throttle not over here in the simulator so uh, in the mcdu you have to go to the screen mcdu menu uh, you can just uh, go here by clicking this option mcdu menu just go over here and you will see this option config and then you have controls config so just simply go over here now if there is already some calibration um, done over here in this page then you will see clear calibration so just clear it 
if there is anything coming and then just uh, get this page and now you can start the calibration now first of all uh, for, for your physical uh, controllers you have to bring it all the way back bring it uh, in the reverse thrust mode pull up the levers and uh, pull the throttle all the way back now you can see uh, both left and right zero so now your thrust lever is in the maximum reverse position then go to next step and then on your physical um, controller just uh, bring it over here for the idle reverse so just give it some little bit of power but don't deactivate the reverse thrust so just move it forward a bit and then go to the next step and now bring it to idle now idle is here so now your thrust is in the idle position now for the next step move it to climb I think my controller is a bit loose anyhow this is now set to climb as you can this climb is over here and then this is flex to MCD so just move it over here and then go to toga and store calibration that's it now you can see it's working now it's in the idle mode and if I activate the reverse thrust the reverse thrust will be activated as you can see it over here the reverse thrust is active and let's go out and see if it's coming oh yes it works nice GPU is connected on the runway <laughs> that's funny <laughs> I actually just started the flight like this okay I, I'm not doing a flight it was just for the controller configuration anyhow if you want to uh, just um, clear this configuration and want to do it again you can do it if you've got any questions you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video the comment section is there for you thank you very much for staying with me have a nice day hope to see you soon